So, you had the same problem as I had. Uh, the connectivity to the GoPro Hero Session 5. Zero, Hero, Feral, whatever. Anyway, I tried to find the solution. I tried the Bluetooth version, tried to reset the Wi-Fi password, tried to uninstall, install the app, and, uh, you know, I tried everything. I couldn't connect to the connect to the, my GoPro Hero Session 5. I, I tried everything, you know. I was just like horrible. I got more and more upset. Uh, I tried to the GoPro community and um, nothing really worked. And I tried to do time lapse with this. So sometimes I need to see what this sees because I do the rotating thing and I need to be leveled and I couldn't see anything. So it was more and more frustrating. But now to the solution. I found a solution for me at least. So I'm going to try to explain what I use. I have an LG4 and my GoPro Hero Session 5. Um, what happened was, when I connect, I can connect, see a picture, and like 15 second, seconds later it just disconnects, or it says camera turned off and it's still on. Uh, it doesn't even say on the display here that the lost connection or something. It, it's just just dies. So I went through the GoPro Heroes, um, the GoPro community, tried to find a solution. And by then, I don't know how, never mind. Uh, there was a guy talking about the GoPro Hero 5 had, after the upgrade of the firmware, uh, they can, couldn't use third party uh, batteries. And that sucks. So what they did was they downgraded the GoPro Hero. So I thought, what if I downgrade this to the whatever downgrade I could do? Because I had the 1.27 version of the firmware in this one. So I tried to download somewhere and I actually found it. Um, so I downgraded to the 1.20 and now it works. It just works. It, it, I can connect, I can control it, I can adjust the volume of the beep or turn off the blinking lights and stuff like that, which I couldn't do before. So that's nice. Let's go to the process where I downgrade it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below with a zip file where the firmware is. And it's, it's an easy PC uh, downgrade process. You just put the three files in a folder, name the folder update and you take out the SD card, plug it into the computer, not the, not like this, you have to take out the card. And you put the folder with the three files, rename, name the folder update with big letters, and you place it in the root of the SD card. If you don't know what the root is, it's just put it on the SD card. <laughs> not in another fold, just put it on the SD card, like that. Plug it in and it will do some magic and it works again. You don't even have to reset the, uh, the GoPro or reset the Wi-Fi password or anything. The only thing I haven't tried, I don't have the Bluetooth on, but it still works. So I don't know if it's gonna work if I turn on the Bluetooth, but I don't wanna take the risk. One thing I haven't tried yet is what will happen when I plug it in, will it automatically upgrade the um, the firmware. If it does, I will never connect this to my computer again. Well, let's try it. And now this application will start, the quick application. Uh, loading media and it says new update available for Hero 5 session. Don't do that. Don't. And I don't have to imp I have a, I have a file on this one? I thought it was empty. So don't upgrade it. And um, I will leave a link in the description down below where the files are. And there are three files in the zip folder, name folder, update with big letters, put the three files in there, put on the SD card, and the GoPro will do the rest for you. Hope this works. Have a nice day.